Happy Thursday, guys. It's um, Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Let's start with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. What are your special intentions today? Are you praying for loved ones? Um, are you praying for your friends? Are you praying for um, strangers that need um, prayers? Let's pray together for those that are affected by the uh, co coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers for our family and our friends and our loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those that are in the hospital and are sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the needy and the hungry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the mothers um, that we pray for this month of May, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, said the sun. Good morning, said the sun. I'll be shining on you all day long. Good evening, said the moon. Good evening, said the moon. I'll be dreaming of you all night long. Wake up. Good morning, boys and girls. Well, since we're not starting with calendar anymore, I just thought I'd show you. I have, I usually update it, but I have changed our days. So instead of counting up the days, we're going to count down the days until we are out for summer. So currently we are on um, May 21st, but our last day of school, boys and girls, believe it or not, is June 5th. So counting back is 10 days left of school. So we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be having theme days next week and the week after that. So be on the lookout for that. Um, next week, we'll also be working on our farms and um, such. We won't be having that many workbook pages to do. But however, you will have your workbook pages because we finished everything in them. All the things that I wanted you guys to do, you guys have finished it. Good job, you guys. So um, what I want you to do with the workbook pages during the summer when we're all finished with school, um, you can go back and you can review what you've done. You can look for pages and learn something new. You can look, so look at something that is interesting and ask your mom and dad to maybe help you um, learn something new, something interesting that you see in your books, stuff like that. So those workbooks are yours. I also went to school the other day to go gather your things like your pencil pouches, some of the workbooks that we had that I didn't get to send um, you guys home with before we left, um, your emergency clothes and your emergency food. So those are ready for you to pick up and I'm going to um, show you what the classroom looks like. So So I miss you guys. Um, you know, I was taking down some of the work that you had on the walls and, I, you know, I saw your writings and your work. 
you guys have improved so much um, of what I've seen. So um, keep up the good work, keep on working, keep on reading, and um, hopefully we'll get to see each other again soon. But um, your moms and dads will be able to pick up that stuff starting June 1st. So they are getting an email about how to pick those things up. So for today, I would just like you to practice your spelling words. Your spelling words are bin. So we're doing the um, in word family. So we have bin. We have fin. We have pin. And we have tin. And then write those three times each. If you are ready for a spelling test, go ahead and have your moms and dads or dads um, test you. And your bonus word, you will have a bonus word. If you are able to attempt it, your bonus word will be twin, twin, twin. So sound it out, try your best. I know you guys can do it. So those are your spelling words. Um, in math, you'll be doing um, vertical subtraction. So just like we did vertical addition, you will be doing vertical subtraction. So on your worksheet, page 281 and 282, you're going to look at the unifix cubes and see what they gave you. Over here you have eight unifix cubes and you're gonna take away. So um, we usually um, subtract from side to side. We usually do it horizontally, but now you're gonna do it vertically, which is up and down. So you're going to put the big number on top, then you're gonna take away the smaller number and then show me your work by crossing those out. And then whatever you have left, that goes on the bottom. So this one is eight. And then you're gonna take away three and you have five left. So the first one you have is you have five unifix cubes. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to take away two and you're gonna show me how to take away two by crossing it out. Five take away two is you have three left. So five take away two is three. So do that with the rest of the subtraction problems. Same thing on the back. Instead of unifix cubes, you're going to have other items. So the, the one you have in all will go on top. Then you're gonna take away and you're gonna write that number right underneath. And then whatever you have left, you're gonna write right there. So that's what you have in math. Um, in social just studies, just think in your head from the video that you watched yesterday. If you didn't watch it, watch it today. The field trip to the farm. It was an awesome video. We loved, uh, Tanner and I loved watching this video over and over. Think about it in your head. What lives on a farm? What kind of animals live on a farm? Does an elephant live on a farm? Does a tiger live on a farm? What can you do on a farm? And what does a farm give you? So think of those things because we will do everything farm next week, okay? So think about those things. So if you didn't get to watch the, um, if you didn't go on your um, virtual field trip to the farm yesterday, go ahead and do it today, okay? And then think about those things. What lives on a farm? What can you do on a farm? And what does a farm give us? So just think about that. You don't have, maybe you want to write down notes, that's fine, but you don't really have to write anything um, just yet. In religion, since we're focusing on kindness, write to your friend. So it could be a friend from class, it could be a friend from home that you grew up with or someone that you know, write to them and say hi, drop a note of thanks. Um, or you know how you're doing tell them how you're doing tell them how the weather is i'm sure they'd love to hear from you um write uh, draw them a picture they would love to hear from you a lot of people have stopped um, writing letters and sending cards so go ahead and write a letter to your friend today um and then now we're going to think of what happened in the very hungry caterpillar if you need to remember just go back to my video when i read 
um, the very hungry caterpillar. And then the first five things that they ate. So on Monday, um, the caterpillar, sorry, the caterpillar, so I'm gonna write first, it ate, an apple. So I'm going to write, actually, I'm just going to write apple first. It ate apple. Second, which was Tuesday, second, it ate, and then it ate a pear. These are all fruits. And then on Wednesday or third, it ate a plum. So just write plum. Fourth or Thursday, it ate strawberry. Oh, I ran out of room. So I'm just gonna continue either underneath or over here. I'm gonna continue over here. Strawberry. Don't forget your period at the end. And then fifth or on Friday, it ate orange. So you're going to write orange. So just write this. You don't have to illustrate anything. Just write it. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So recall what you heard or what you read in the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, what it ate first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. That's what you're doing for science, okay? And then in movement or um, being active, um, do 20 jumping jacks. You know how to do um, jumping jacks. 20 sit-ups and 20 squats get out there and do that. I know you can do it. You guys are awesome and you guys are so healthy and active. I know you can do it. So 20 jumping jacks, 20 sit-ups sit and 20 squats, squats and do that three times. Okay. So jumping jacks, sit-ups, squats, jumping jacks, sit-ups, squats, and then jumping jacks, sit-ups, squats. Try saying that three times. All right. So as usual, stay safe. Be well, be healthy, and we'll see you later. Oh, don't forget Zoom meeting tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Bye, guys.